It was a crowd of Floresville High School students walking out of school today in a show of disapproval with how the school and the district are handling sexual assault allegations. Garrett Berger was there for the protest and talked to a student who's one of the student organizers. Hey, hey, ho, ho, baby culture has to go. Chanting together, dozens of students stormed out of Floresville High School this morning raising their voices about allegations of sexual assault tied to the campus that they do not feel the school has done enough about. The school's denying it, the principal denying it, people are trying to keep us quiet. Why are they trying to keep something like that quiet? On homecoming Friday, many of them forewent the school colors, opting instead for red handprints on white t-shirts. Today was supposed to be a maroon out day to show school pride, and we ain't gonna do that. Instead, we're showing like our pride for the victims of people who are still here, people that are still walking. The students weren't alone in their demonstration. They were joined at the edge of school property by a group of parents and others. Our kids deserve to come to school and it makes me emotional to get an education and to be safe. They're not being heard and we figure having a parent presence will keep them from getting in trouble as much as possible. Though there had been rumors about what kind of punishment students would face for the walkout, a district spokeswoman told KSAT at the protest that the event was peaceful and students would not be disciplined for participating. The district released a statement later this afternoon, reading in part, quote, the administration has investigated all allegations of assault and has taken the appropriate action to address them through the student code of conduct and with law enforcement. Once again, the district is unable to provide detailed information due to privacy laws and ongoing criminal investigations. But be assured that we are taking this very seriously and anyone found in violation of the law will be prosecuted. In Floresville, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.